Good morning. Welcome back to another edition of Gary's Movie Aquarium. Today is a uh, movie review for the film uh, First Person Shooter. Uh, it's unrated. It's part of the Raw and Extreme line. Uh, it says, uh, come get some. I really like this film. Uh, it was like in the vein of um, Duke, nu uh, yeah, Duke Nukem and Wreck meets uh, Hardcore Henry. Very much like in that vein. Uh, this is from 2014 slash 2019. Um, clock's in at about 80 minutes, so it's really short. I just wish it would have been a little longer, because I, I didn't get sick of it at all. Uh, it's an A3 Films uh, product, production, and didn't get on home video until 2019 through Wild Eye. It was, it was directed, written, and produced by uh, Andreas Lutz, Schaub, and I believe it was a German film. Uh, I don't know if it was the, the, the soundtrack for it was redone uh, by American actors, but uh, really liked this film. And it was uh, right off the bat, it, it, you know, it picked right up with action and suspense. And uh, actually, it says on IMDb it's from uh, Austria. Uh, from 2014, and it came out in April of that year. Uh, basically, it stars uh, Jurgen Sutherland as the patient zombie, Sasha Strack as the wardrobe zombie, Atlanta Lutzel Schwab as a uh, nurse zombie, T Tobias Winkler as the clown zombie, Hans Lutzen Schwab, uh, the sur uh, surgeon zombie. Uh, Ackman, Ackman Lutzel Schwab as the cook, cook zombie, Sebastian Kettner as the wheelchair zombie, Adri, Adrius uh, Lutzel Schwab as basement zombie, and Eins Klein played uh, the pregnant wife in this film. And the voice of the main character that is basically going on the shooting rampage is uh, Stephen what Wait. Uh, he played the play, he was the player in this uh, movie, and Rob Banks was a doctor, and it was voiced by several other people in this movie. It was uh, really like made you feel like you were the player, and it it opens with a sequence with a uh, a video game narration, uh, telling people that if uh, they feel the symptoms of what's going on, there's a infectious. Uh, uh, plague going around uh, that you're to contact your local uh, meta station and pretty much it just starts out with the narration and next thing you know it shows a um, the, the main player in this movie uh, heading up a road to a laboratory where a mad scientist has been working on a um, kind of like an infectious uh, <laughs> kind of like a little bit like Wuhan was messing with, or at least it's been alleged Wuhan was uh, mess messing with uh, the strand of uh, coronavirus. Much in this way, this uh, scientist was messing with uh, that particular uh, outbreak. And what it did is it, it got out. I don't know. I can't remember if it was intentional or if it just got out and he couldn't control it and members of the staff tur started turning into like ravenous zombies and this this main player is, as they put it on in his uh the credits on imdb uh that basically he's the player and he's going through this let of this uh run down hospital and like he's going through the dark hall well lit lidded halls and dark halls of this uh, hospital, and it's basically kind of a little bit like Resident Evil a little bit as well, with them, you know, having all these zombies coming at him and stuff. It also gives me the vibe of um, uh, the shoot 'em up game, um, House of the Dead, a little bit. Uh, but it's a medical facility, on the, and the, and their his ultimate plan was to. Uh, Infect the medical staff. 
apparently the guy's were it's supposed to be our wife, I guess. That's the way I took it, because it does say that your your role or your idea in this game is to capture your wife who's pregnant and is captured by this medical doctor. He obviously by the end do, must have done something to her to make her way the way she is by the end. But uh um the entire area is going to be blown up by dawn. So you got to get in here and get out before this place gets eradicated by the, uh, I guess, by the military. And I must say a lot of this had a lot of everything going on. It had a great music score, creepy, creepy atmosphere. Um, like I said, it made you feel like you were the one that was uh, actually saving her to a degree because it had the, you know, like the player uh, set up on a video game at the bottom of the screen, like showing how much health you had, uh, what you need to get, you know, in a state to rejuvenate. Uh, there was a level at some point when he um, actually got taken down, and you get to auto save, and you can replay the level, and that's what he did in one scene. He had gotten attacked and killed and popped back up. Uh, once he uh, auto saved it and he got to redo the level and then he got through the level and every level pretty much every level that you completed completed in this with him uh it would it would uh, tell you level completed and then say like 100 percent it was really i'd really if if you're a gamer you'd probably really i mean i'm not much of a gamer but i really like this film i, I like the the u uniqueness of it. I like the, the first person aspect. I thought they did a really good job on the budget. Uh, oh, and that was another thing in this film. A um, lot of nods to to liner, one-liners and stuff from stuff like Evil Dead. Uh, you could tell they were really going after Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, a lingo that he liked to say, like, get to the chopper, you know, that kind of thing. You know, it just was funny hearing all that kind of stuff in the movie. Uh, it was actually pretty cool, though. It was like a cool nod, not really like, I don't know. I just like the narration the guy would do when he'd shoot a zombie or, or kill some someone in the movie. He would just, like, uh, get all maniacal and everything. I just thought it was really well done. Um, But by the end, he gets, apparently, she's in the basement. And by the end, uh, he he uh, ends up facing the doctor in the end and chops his arm off and uses his uh, hand to get into the room where his wife is because he's got it like, uh, I don't know how you want to say it, kind of like got, he uses uh, his hand code, you know, his uh, fingertips to get in into the room. He has it set up that way so only he can go in the room. But he uses a uh, doctor's hand and goes in the room and goes to save his wife. And she, uh, like I said, she's all... She, at first he thinks she's okay, but he sees there's blood and stuff on her gown and halfway down her legs and stuff. And there's blood beneath her. Um... Apparently, the doctor wanted to, uh, I guess, somehow get the baby, uh, like, put the infection into the baby, too. Like, so that it could, you know, go on its rampage, I guess, and if it, when it's born, I guess, to keep the, kind of like have her be an incubator for, for the, the disease so no one, it goes unnoticed. But, uh, he notices his wife is, like, really like you know not really looking too healthy and then he goes to touch her and she opens her eyes and her eyes are like these big white glowing eyeballs and and he's like feeling really like sad at that point and he goes up near her and hugs her and then he puts the gun up to his head and he shoots both of them through the head uh and then it shows by the end it shows him pop up again, like, time to play a new game. That's that's the message I got from the movie. But this was a really fun movie. I, I'm hoping there's a sequel to this one. 
because everything about it was it, if you love video games i mean even if even if you're not big on small budgets um i think you'd like this it flew by i mean i i i'd be willing to watch it again today that's you know that's how good of a movie it was um but that's my review for uh first person uh shooter and I was really happy. I, I'm the one that picked this one this morning to review. And I'm really happy I did. I just randomly went with a pick. And, you know, there I, I picked that one. And I'm glad I did. It's probably one of my favorite ones I've picked so far out of the box. I think I even liked it better than uh, my last review. In terms of what, it, you know, its purpose was. I, I, I liked all the gore and... and uh, I, know, I just I just thought the, the movie flowed really well. But uh that's my review for Wild Eye. Thank you, Wild Eye, for another opportunity to review such a hidden gem that I didn't realize was out there. Uh but I'm I'm liking these raw raw and extreme ones so far. Uh but that's my review and you all have a good day and stay safe out there. And I'll be back with another review uh, another day or two. See you later, guys. Bye.